a brand new Assassin's Creed is out, Assassin's Creed Mirage. This Assassin's Creed is taking place in ancient Baghdad in the year of 850 something, which was the biggest city in the world at that time, which I didn't know. We learned nothing in school. I am learning way more about the history of the world through Assassin's Creed games. This is the Assassin's Creed game where the developers said they were going more back to its original roots. They were not going to have such a big open world as they had in Odyssey and Valhalla. It was going to be a smaller world, more stealth focused game. And I am all about that. Sometimes some open world games are too big and I felt that so much in Valhalla. You know, I tried to like Valhalla going back to it at least five times trying to like it but I felt like England was too big and the open world was sort of barren not much to do that was the impression I was left with Valhalla was also less stealth focused more brute force vikingy and I don't remember doing a lot of parkour in that game either so essentially it was more like an open world RPG game instead of an Assassin's Creed game. Uh, but this time they have listened to the fans and they have corrected their mistakes and they have gone way more back to its original roots and everyone is liking it. I've been watching a lot of reviews on this game and almost everyone is saying that it is a good thing. And the people that say that it is a bad thing, that the world is smaller and it's more stealth focused, they're like, but we asked for this. We can't really complain, we asked for this. I am playing Assassin's Creed Mirage on my PlayStation 5 and it's so good. So good. I am 32 hours in and I am trying to do everything on the map, get all the chests, all the hidden books, all the enigmas, upgrading all of my gear, doing the side quests and side content along with progressing the main story. I'm trying to discover everything in this game. So yeah, I guess I could say this is the game that I'm playing now. Completely obsessed. Such a good game. Hey. The story is decent. This new protagonist that you're playing, he's called Basim. So far, I am liking Bayek from Assassin's Creed Origins a bit more than Basim, but it's okay. The main story is very Assassin's Creed-y. You're going after these leaders, these masked people. Very similar to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And a lot of the side content has good storylines, like the Tales of Baghdad, which are these side quests that are really good. All of them so far has been super interesting, really good. Now I want to talk about the world, okay, and the setting. I never thought I would be this mesmerized with Baghdad in year 850, as I am. And the history behind the city and the way of life for citizens at that time, I find it so interesting and so immersive. This game is making it easy to feel immersed because the world, and especially the main city, Baghdad, is so alive. Every single nook and cranny in this city feels like like there was passion put into it, historical correctness put into it. You have so many fun places to visit in Baghdad, like the House of Wisdom, which is this big library of learning. All sorts of other places also, like a hospital, a prison, and the bazaar. This is Assassin's Creed Aladdin. Also, you can read so much about the history of everything, like the Caravanserais. I did not know what those were until I read the entry, the history entry within the game. So I am learning so much, I'm so immersed. It's a wonderful game, wonderful world. I'm loving Baghdad. It's a fantastic historical game. And I'm feeling Assassin's Creed Origins vibes again, which I was obsessed with a few years ago, if you guys remember that. Now I want to touch in on the graphics. They are so good. I was watching comparison videos with the graphics from Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla and Mirage. Mirage is by far the sharpest looking, the most realistic looking. It's such a big jump when it comes to the graphics. This game is so good looking. And of course it performs really well on my PS5. You have the sunsets and the sunrises and the shadows and all of the animations. You know, I'm still seeing new animations, kill animations that is, even after 30 hours in. And every single NPC in the city, it's like they have their own lives. I am convinced that they have their own lives. It's all just really pleasant, pleasant to look at.
So combat wise, it's a stealth game. The game is rewarding you if you go stealthy and sort of punishing you if you break stealth, if you are discovered. So like in previous Assassin's Creed games, you have your bird, which makes you able to have a good look over whatever you're trying to infiltrate, fortress or whatever. And with this bird, you can highlight all of the enemies and later on with a skill point, the roots of the guards and you sneak down into grass or haystacks and and you can whistle, have them come to you and assassinate them. And you can go into hiding, several options for hiding by the way, where you can also assassinate guards in a stealthy way. So satisfying. And yeah, the guards, they are dumb as doornails. <laughs> they are so stupid. But this is a video game and as long as it is fun what I'm doing, and as long as I still feel like if I'm a bit uncareful, I still get punished and I still break stealth, it is fine. You have several tools that you can use, like the sleep dart, smoke bombs. They are really useful, smoke bombs. You have traps and you have throwing knives, which you will be using a lot. Now, initially, after like five hours of play, I was thinking, I missed the bow having bow and arrow like Bayek had in Origins. But after like 10 hours, I was like, I'm over it. I'm good now. I have the throwing knives. So that was something that bothered me in the beginning, but not later on not having a bow. So combat wise, I feel like you have a ton of options and you get to choose how you want to go about assassinating the guards. It's just very satisfying stuff. Now you know me, I am trying to go for a platinum trophy in this game because I just enjoy it. A lot of the trophies in this game is so fun to do. It's just like when I played Assassin's Creed Origins, which I did platinum trophy. So I am having a lot of fun collecting all of the collectibles in the game. All of the lost books across the map, all of the gear chests, upgrading every single piece of gear. Oh, that reminds me, the camel is sick. The camel that you have as a mount in the beginning of the game, he's, there's something wrong with him. But you can purchase horses, which I definitely did. I'm riding on horses in this game. And another thing that I love doing, and I do it all the time, pickpocketing. I pickpocket every single NPC in the entire city. I am such a thief. And in this Assassin's Creed, you have a notoriety system, which means you have a bad reputation the more crimes you commit. But you can pull down some wanted posters and the notoriety goes down. Also, you can bribe the spokesman in the city to erase the bad rumors about you. And that will make you anonymous again. It is so much fun to be a criminal. Who would have thought? I'm such a criminal in this game and I love it. To begin with, when I noticed pickpocketing, I was like, I don't want to pickpocket the poor people, poor them. You know, I went into the rich people area, which is in the middle of the city where the rich people are and I pickpocketed them. But now it's like I pickpocket everyone. <laughs> You know, I'm over it. And that's another thing. You can really see the rich quarters compared to the poor people's quarters. It's so realistic and such a highly complex city. And you know, a lot of these things I didn't know. I was talking with Tiny Hats and she was like, we learned nothing of this in school that this was a really, really big city in the year 850. The world's biggest city with a lot of wisdom and learning. It was the place to be. If we lived at this time, we would have been living in Baghdad because most of the humans living at that time were around these parts. Now, I still have a feeling that Origins is still my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I still highly, highly recommend Origins, where you are in Egypt, and that is a open world, also with a lot of historical accuracy, really, really mesmerizing and good. It reminds me a lot of Origins, but this is in Baghdad, and it's just a different game, also smaller in scale when it comes to the open world, which I don't mind this time around. A lot of reviewers are also saying that having a game that is not that big, it's a positive thing. Because when you're looking at this map, you're thinking, I can do this. I can go everywhere. I can find the time to do everything in this game. I mean, with our schedules, with work and family and friends, the older you get, the less time you have to play video games sometimes. So that is the reality of a lot of people. So a smaller, more bite-sized game is a good thing, but it's not as small as some YouTubers are making it out to be. I went into Mirage hearing 
that the main story is 15 hours. But I'm thinking to myself, I still have a lot to do in the main story and I'm 32 hours in. So were they rushing the game? I'm taking my time with the game. Definitely taking my time. Taking in the sights, taking in all of the impressions that I get from this time period. That is a big part of the experience of the game, I feel like. I am playing this game also a lot remotely with PS5 Remote Play. I made a video two videos back on my channel. If you missed it, I recommend that you watch that. And it is about how I do PS5 remote play so that I can bed game, so that I can lie on my couch and play handheldly. So I've been playing this game also a lot handheld. That has been really lovely. It's like I'm treating my PS5 now like a Switch. Sometimes on TV, sometimes handheld. Love it. The skill tree is good, super simple, at least compared to Valhalla's skill tree, which was a big constellation of things that you could put skill points into. This one is so simple, so simplified. Even more simplified than Origins' skill tree, which was already simple, and I like it. A lot of people are enjoying this, simple skill trees, that every single skill point that you put in, it makes a difference. I am enjoying this. Controls wise, when it comes to parkouring and stuff, I had a lengthy discussion about this with Tiny Hats yesterday. And this is a big talking point among a lot of Assassin's Creed fans. How is the parkouring? Because that is such a big gameplay feature within the Assassin's Creed games. Such a big freedom to be able to climb just about anything. Jumping from rooftop to rooftop, climbing trees, jumping from one weird place to another, swinging yourself around, and I get so spoiled with this. Whenever I play a game where I cannot climb on just about everything, I feel so restricted. You know, coming from an Assassin's Creed game where this has been introduced to me, the freedom of climbing on everything. I've gotten used to that and this is my new standard. So I would say 95% of the time, Basim is going where I want him to go. And the parkour, in my opinion, feels very much like how it was in Origins. You hold one button in order to climb up something and you hold another button in order to climb down something. Very simple, very easy. He doesn't necessarily feel heavy or light, he's something in the middle. His weight feels medium. So this should be satisfying for just about anyone, I feel like. Because people were complaining that Eivor in Valhalla felt really heavy, but Basim feels good. <laughs> So I suppose my verdict of Assassin's Creed Mirage, I feel like this is already a contender for Game of the Year. At least in top 5 of Game of the Year, maybe even in the top 3 of what I've played so far this year, and I'm not done with it. I am having a blast. And I wanted to make a video about this game because I need to tell you guys that this is money well spent. I regret nothing. This was also around $50, I think. $499 in Norwegian, which I think is about $50. I definitely recommend this game if you enjoyed previous Assassin's Creed games. If you have ever enjoyed any Assassin's Creed games, I think you will find what you like in this game. It's so stealthy, so good. The world, the history of the, the history was good, okay? The history of the world, so good and the graphics, so good. And yeah, the game is smaller. I still think Origins is maybe my all-time favorite. Highly recommend that one as well. But I'm just saying that this is a good game. Very good. I'm very happy with Assassin's Creed Mirage and what they did in this one. And I'm very curious to see where they're going next time. Leave a comment down below with where you want them to go. Now before you leave, I have an announcement. I had a drawing contest on my Discord server. It's such an active community. We have voice chats and all sorts of stuff. But here is the winner of the drawing contest. Miggy Monkey. This artwork is fantastic. The attention to detail, I mean my statement sunglasses, even the earrings were correct. Congratulations on winning the drawing contest. Also, the other entries were really good. Snurri Gaming, look at that. The Miggy Monkey design is now up on the merch store, non-profit. It's the lowest price possible from Teespring. So go ahead and grab your piece of that merch. Thank you so much for watching today. And I wanna hear what you think about the new Assassin's Creed. And I will see you later.